Hi again, welcome back to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. Today's lesson is hopefully very useful to all of you. We're going to look at internet vocabulary, how to survive in cyberspace. Just in case you don't know, cyberspace is the internet, the internet world where everything happens. These are some very common words you'll see today. Where you'll see them? Everywhere. You'll see them in news reports, articles about entertainment, sports, finance, business, everywhere. Because the internet is everywhere. Okay? Cyberspace, huge. So, let's start. Viral. Okay? This is an adjective. When something goes viral, to go viral, when something goes viral, it means it spreads very quickly. So, for example, I think all of you probably by now have seen Miley Cyrus shake her thing, as it were. That video of her shaking herself went viral. It became a huge hit. Thousands, millions of people saw it all over the world. I think another example is Psy. You know, that Gangnam style thing? I'm not going to do it for you, don't worry. But he went viral as soon as his video came up. Keep in mind, it goes with this verb. It went viral. It will go viral. Many books about how to create a viral video, for example. So it's usually images, videos, sometimes articles, depends on what the topic is. I know that you know what Google is. Everybody knows Google. Google, as a noun, is the name of a company. It comes from a big number. I'm not going to try to say it because it's too big for me to say. But basically, they got this name from mathematics, I guess. But do you know that it's also a verb? To Google. And in the past tense, it, I googled it. And what am I doing right now? I am googling. Now, some people will write with the E. Most people will write without the E. I don't really think it matters all that much. People will understand what you're saying. To Google basically means to search. This brand name the brand name of the company has become so popular that it is used for any search thing you do on the internet. If you're using Yahoo, you're not Yahooing. You're still Googling. If you're using Bing or whatever other search engine, you're probably still Googling because that's the word that's been common. Completely unrelated, in Canada, if you want a tissue to blow your nose, most likely you will ask for a Kleenex. A Kleenex is a brand name. It's a company name. Same idea. Google is that huge. To post or a post. Again, noun or verb. A post is something that you put on the internet. Something you put on your Facebook page. Something you put on your blog page, on your website. To post means to put up. To put up for the internet to spread. Hopefully go viral. Get you a lot of views, which we're going to talk about in a second. Now, if you keep a blog, then you want to have good posts and hopefully they will go viral or will come high on the Google search, okay? Blog is short for web log. So web log, blog. Now, what is a log? A log is like a journal or a diary. So a blog is usually a personal website where people put whatever they want, comments or ideas or pictures or whatever or videos, in which case it's a vlog, a video log. And what you want, you're going to post your articles or your ideas, and you want people to come and see them. You're sharing this with the world. A tweet comes from the company Twitter. A tweet is a short message, 140 characters or less, so letters, spaces, dashes, etc. It's something that you share with, with whoever you want, whoever follows you on Twitter. You tweet this. Sometimes people will retweet. They will take your tweet, your message, and send it out to more people. So hopefully if many people see your tweet, maybe it will go viral and the whole world will see it. Maybe. <clears throat> Fishing. Fishing is a very interesting phenomenon, okay? What people do is they send you an email and they hope that you will respond and give them information, bank accounts, passwords, usernames, etc. So they send you a letter saying, oh, hi, you know, I'm your bank. 
there's a bit of a problem with your credit card. Can you send me your credit card number and expiry date on the code on the back just so I can make sure that it's actually not a problem? Well, that's the problem. Be very f careful of phishing. It sounds like fish because they're sending you a bait. They're sending you a little worm and hope you swallow it. Don't. Okay? Bits and bites. Now, when I was a kid, bits and bites were a snack that you buy in a bag, all kinds of little pretzels and like corn chips and all kinds of things. Not this bits and bites. Bit. One bit is a very small piece of information that is used in computer programming. Bytes are a collection of eight bits. Eight bits. Now, then you have kilobytes, which is basically a thousand bytes. 1024 to be exact, but around a thousand kilo, 1000. Megabytes are a thousand kilobytes. Gigabytes, gigabytes are a thousand megabytes. And then of course you have terabytes, which are a thousand gigabytes. Lots of bytes, lots of bits, lots of information. A meme, this is an interesting word. It's become very popular these days on the internet. When somebody sees a picture or a video or an, any sort of image and it becomes very, very popular, people start to take that image and put it in a different context, okay? For example, uh, maybe a few months ago, there was a picture of a guy who was called the most photogenic guy in the world. A guy, you know, a handsome guy, smiling. Everybody thought, oh, what a great picture. Suddenly, you see his picture in every situation. You see big sumo wrestlers with the guy's face. He's one of the sumo wrestlers. You see somebody biking or running, the guy's face. You see a wedding picture with the guy standing right there. So that is a meme. Basically, it's a copied image or an idea that spreads and is used in different contexts. Domain. Domain is a, basically a website. The URL is the address. So for example, www.name dot com. So this whole line that you put in the top bar of your internet or explorer or whatever, Mozilla, Firefox, this is the URL, that's the address, and this is the domain. Views. Views means how many times your site or your video or your picture or your post has been looked at. So now you have to think about see, watch, look, and view. You got another word in the mix now. If you go to YouTube, most videos will have underneath number of, number of views. How many people have seen this? Next, we have spam. Spam is junk email, garbage email. People send you advertisements or sometimes the spam is used for the phishing. It's just garbage email that you don't really want to look at, you want to avoid. Sometimes it has a virus. A virus is bad information that will destroy your computer. Spam comes from the, the meat, the brand name, spam, which is meat in a can. Now, the problem is nobody actually knows what's in this meat, what is in the can. It's mystery meat. Just like this email is mystery email. You don't really want to touch it. You don't really want to ingest it in any way, shape or form. And of course, we have cookies. Not like, mm, cookies, not that kind of cookie. Cookies are pieces of information that a website that you go to, you go to a website, the server, the company that has the website sends information to your computer. That information stays on your computer. Every time you go back and forth to this website, they see what you are doing and they can customize the delivery of their website to you. So they know what you like, what other websites you've been to. So they know which advertisements to give you. They know how to set up their website so that you like it. You can erase cookies and every once in a while you should erase cookies and clean your computer. Okay, hopefully this is all very helpful to you in protecting yourself and using the internet and understanding things you're reading about in the internet. You can also make sure, if you want to make sure how to use these words, go to ingvid.com. There is a quiz there that you can practice these words. And of course, go to YouTube. See how many views this lesson has gotten on YouTube. And come see us again. Bye.